These guys are awesome. I'm yes. trying to figure out which camera to look at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now you you mentioned Nokia earlier, which was shot by yours truly, Sticky TV. How was it in the making of Nokia? Bro, it was so lit. I was so comfortable because you guys made me feel like I wasn't being. How can I say it? I wasn't being strained. You know, it was more so like I think that would be a cool idea. It was a whole team effort, and it was more of like. What do you think? What do you think? This is what we're gonna do. It's yeah. not a one-sided thought type of process. Yeah. So I thought it was pretty cool. Gotcha. It was hot. It was bugs. I hate bugs, but you know, yeah. it made it better. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty simple. And in the making of the song, how how did how did you come up with the song? Nokia. Well, you know the old school Nokia's. One of my best friends have those. So I just heard her little ringtone. I was like, oh shoot, you got the old school Nokia. She was like, yeah, because my phone, I dropped my phone, so this is what I gotta resort to. <laughs> I was like, you know, it'd be cool if you made a song about Nokia. And so I thought about it was like Nokia and you know, just using the figurative elements. Mm -hmm. I was like, Nokia, 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 and in the video there's a Kia car. Yeah. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> Nokia, yeah. Nokia, Nokia, Nokia. No car key. Yeah. So I was just like, it's been pretty goofy with them. Just expressing my little creative freedom on that. And that music video is on Sticky TV Global on YouTube, so please go check it out. Definitely. Yes, so I do got one feature with Miss Bobby. Now, Miss Bobby is the truth. You know, it's crazy because you, you know, she's primarily focused on her podcast, which is To The Top Podcast. I was like, man, you know, that's a dope podcast. Yeah. Just when you thought nothing could get any greater, she just pop up and she got a journal. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Then she started rapping to Nokia. I was like, okay. And then I looked at her journal when she uh, wrote her verse. And if you ever, like, pay close attention, she says, baddest bitch alive. Dope, young, and youngest love me. So baddest B, bitch B, alive. Dope, young, and youngest love me. It spells Baldy. I didn't notice that shit until like maybe the fourth time. And then I looked at the journal, I'm like, that's Baldy, spelled in words. And yeah. It was pretty cool. She <laughs> implemented that. Yeah. So she definitely has a way of using her figurative elements in the song. I was. She know, she know. I, I don't know what else to say besides that she's just a really loud person. So how many songs you made with her? I made two. So Nokia and the upcoming one was just a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, just the element of surprise. What and what achievements do you have so far in record? Man, look, we went to A3C last year, networked with a lot of cool people. Anderson Pop recently followed me, which I did screenshot, because that was one of my favorite people. I love Anderson Pop, yeah. but he unfollowed me, but I did screenshot it. Um, Trans Lee, I think he's kind of looking at me right now, because he follows me on Instagram. Yeah. But uh, other than that, you know, I'm just starting, so it's just... You know, little accomplishments here and there. Yeah. I'm just waiting to see what happens. And um, actually, one accomplishment was from the show that I did previously. What was that? That was um. That was the. I I can't remember what day that was. I'm so sorry, y'all. But. My previous performance was a really big accomplishment because I did uh, push myself out of my comfort zone. You know, I'm not the biggest, you know, hop on stage and be automatically confident person, but I really did break out of my shyness. Yeah. Like, and then, you know, people were singing along to the surprise element song. <laughs> You know, and I was like, oh shit, people singing along, so that's great, that's a great feedback because people think it's catchy. Yeah. If they're singing along, it has to be catchy, it's something so cool, it's a lit song. So, that was an accomplishment, just to hear people sing along and interact 
with my music. So what other features are you looking for? Whew. Well, man, I got a lot that I want to do. Maybe at least 10 or 5. 10 or 5? Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to speak that one into existence, but it would be cool if I did one with Buster Rhymes. He's really, really different. Um, Missy Elliott, Tierra Wack, Anderson Pop, K. Trinata, who is a producer slash beat maker. He's really dope. The internet, ASAP Rocky. I'm trying to think of I'm sorry, y'all. Lady LaSure, who's also a UK rapper. She's pretty dope. You got Lee Kelly and Katie Gabbins. And Molly Brazy. Cause she, I don't know, yeah. I, I, I can match her tone, but you know, it's just, she's pretty, but. Yeah. So yeah, those are people I love to do a with. So you got your squad pretty, pretty packed there. Oh yeah. Gotcha. She was, somebody called me like, hey, oh, uh, don't mind. Don't mind if I do speak, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm hopping on that wagon. And so far, in being an artist, uh, has it been a lot of negativity? Oh, of course, yeah. I get bashed on a day-to-day basis. <laughs> because, <Yeah. laughs> you know, and that's what comes with it, so I'm not surprised at all. You so know? you really prepared yourself for that already? Man, look, when your school career is full of that shit, you do build some immunity to it. Mm-hmm. You know, that was one thing that kind of built me as the person I am today. Like I'm pretty straightforward with it. If someone don't agree to something, especially if it's like a teammate, you know, we usually do resolve things and we talk things out. But when it comes to a person saying, I don't like this because that's you out of seven billion. You know, like in a couple of years, and I hate to say it, it's just the truth. We gotta, the truth. Ah, let me just start with y'all, I'm sorry. Okay, but at the end of the day, and it is the truth, yeah. I'm not going to be here, they're not going to be here, and that's within X amount of years, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why are we wasting energy um, just hanging on each other when we're not even going to be here to see each other, yeah. for, you know, that would be the decision. Just years. wasting time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Jeez, so that's why when people say the things they say, I don't tend to let it bug me because I know that how our universe works is governed on attraction, law of attraction. Positive attract positive, negative attract negative. You know, and it's like, if they're speaking bad upon a person, then they're speaking bad upon themselves. Yeah. If I'm speaking good upon myself and I'm speaking good upon another person, I'm bringing more blessings my way. So, mm, so you ain't got nothing to worry about. Not at all, <laughs> not at all. No facts. And what's some of the good things that you've seen so far? The good things in regards to me? Yeah, or? just that's been happening to you and rap. Man, just coming up with my pieces and just being able to learn to make beats. I recently just got better at making beats. I just started two, three months ago. Gotcha. So I'm starting to pick up these new elements. I've stayed persistent with learning. Because one thing is, I don't ever resort to YouTube unless it's an emergency. I'm a more hands-on, I'm going to figure it out before I just resort to YouTube. Yeah. But it was a couple times I did have to resort to YouTube, so <laughs> yeah. I'm like, man, this sounds like shit. What should I do? So I go on yeah. YouTube, and I scroll through the entire video until I hear that one segment that I need to hear. Yeah. So, um, not only has my producing improved, uh, I've been making really good connections mm-hmm. with people. I got a name drop. Surprise. Surprise. Yeah. Got a surprise element here and there. But um no, I have been making really good connections with people and I've been getting closer to life and I've been kind of more I've been kind of more cognizant to how life works. And yeah. I feel like it's starting to work in my favor just by me noticing it and yeah. how it's all government. So yeah, that's all the good things that happen. You know, I'm, my third eye is open. <laughs> and 
I'm getting better at what I do musically. Yeah. I'm starting to catch on to other people's trends and stuff and figuring out what I need to do without taking from theirs, but just adding more intensity to mine. Yeah. 